This customer wants to install a 240 volt outlet in their garage to charge their Tesla from home. We're gonna be installing a 50 amp NEMA 1450. I'm gonna be installing a two gang box right here. My panel is on the other side of the wall right in this bay. So I'm gonna keep my outlet to the bay to the left. And then I'll be installing the cord holder for the Tesla cord. So at the panel side, he's not using this 30 amp breaker for this outlet. And he's also not using this 30 amp breaker for the dryer plug because he has in a, a gas dryer, not electric. So I'm gonna be able to use this spot for my new 50 amp breaker for the outlet. So I'm gonna remove the covers here, here, and here, and I'll probably drill through this stud to run my 6.3 Romex up to the new location for the outlet. Now this compartment is not in the meter enclosure. These home line panels give you access below the meter where it's a separate compartment where you can run Romex. <laughs> I got the two gang cut out. I gotta remove the knockout way deep back there. So I'm gonna use the self-tapping screw with the 90 and I'm gonna get it back here so I can drill the screw into the metal and then I can pull the screw out with my dikes. So now that I have the screw inside there, I can grab it with my dikes and I can just pop it up like that. And now that it's popped up, I can grab it with some pliers and just pull it out like that. Now that I have my KO removed, I can run my wire from the breaker through the backside wireway behind the meter down to here, but I still need it up to my outlet. So I'm gonna drill through this stud here. And now I can snake from the hole that I just drilled up to the outlet hole that I already cut out. So now on the side where I cut the box out, I can feel my snake is right here. So now I can tie the wire and pull it up. So I ran the Romex down through the wireway and then I installed the Romex connector inside the KO. And now I'm pushing the wire down to this cavity and then I'll tie the wire to the snake and I'll be able to pull it back to the outlet. I got the wire taped to the snake. Now on the other side, should be able to pull it back. Now I have my wire here. I landed the wire into the remodel box. These are really cool. When you tighten these screws, these clamps hold it to the drywall. So you just push the box in the wall and then you just tighten these screws. And now it's clamped to the back of the drywall, so it's tight. I can't pull it up. I got the new outlet wired, my ground, my two powers, and my neutral. And now I'll push the wires into the box and I'll install the outlet with the ground facing up. So I got the outlet installed with these four screws and now I'm gonna install the cover. I got the cover installed and then I installed the bracket for the cord holder right where the customer wanted it. And then the cord holder just kind of slides over the bracket like that. I landed my ground to the bus bar, my neutral to the bus bar and my two powers to the new breaker. I reinstalled the covers and I labeled the breaker. Breaker on. Now the customer can plug his Tesla in. So now the customer is getting 32 amps, which is approximately between 20 and 25 miles per hour. Before he was only getting four miles per hour with your standard 120 volt outlet. And that's your end result.